Hi guys, Chris again. And in this video, we're gonna talk about whether or not it's bad to leave your laptop permanently plugged in. Um, so there are a couple of different answers to this question. Um, kind of yes. It, so whether or not it's a big problem depends on the laptop. It is a problem. You will eventually kill the battery if you do this. Um, whether or not that's a big deal depends on how difficult and how expensive it is to replace your battery. So some laptop batteries are expensive and some are very cheap. If you have a laptop with a cheap removable battery, honestly, I mean, let's say it's $40 for a new battery off of Amazon or something like that. Um, who cares? If you leave the laptop plugged in and it dies, and then in three years you have to buy a new battery for $40, who cares? Um, it's, it's a consumable. It's like your tires on your car at that point. Now, if you, for example, have a rare laptop, like my high-end older gaming laptop where the battery is over $100, and it's physically built into the laptop where you have to open the laptop in order to, uh, in order to remove it, then it's a bigger problem. And that's especially gonna be a problem probably on thin ultra portables or tablets. You're not going to be able to get to them in some cases. Some of the Surface tablets, it's gonna be so close to impossible to get to them that it, it, will be a, it will be functionally impossible for you to replace that battery. And it will cost enough in many cases that by the time you reach the point where the device needs a new battery, it might not be worth it to replace the battery. Um, so in those cases, what I recommend you doing, if, if you're going to use it plugged in nonstop and you can't remove the battery physically, um, what you want to do is you want to pull it off the cord. If you want to be, periodically, if you want to be really paranoid, do it once every other week. Realistically, once a month is probably fine, um, but you want to do it. Uh, I, I would do it if I was if I had a laptop that I knew was going to be hard to replace the battery on, and it was a cost that I actually cared about. Um, I, I would probably do it every other week, and you don't want to drain it all the way. You want to you want to pull it off the cord, and you want to drain it down to maybe like fifteen percent, something like that, and then recharge it. Um, Maybe do it a couple times even if you want to be real paranoid. But uh, anyway, that's my advice on the matter. And thanks for watching the video. 